Hey, what it do, baby? Boo! There's something that happened recently to me that made me realize that you can almost uh, predict the outcome of a game before it even starts. There are little points uh, in the champion select screen um, that you can determine, you know, whether you're gonna win or lose. I'll tell you about these impact points after this little story that I'm gonna tell you because this is how the quote unquote epiphany or realization came about. I was in game, okay, and I was in my main, so I was in Challenger Elo, and everybody in the game was obviously really good. And we played the game, and I think this dude playing mid lane was a mid lane main. Everybody in the team, like, was, we we're doing good except for that mid lane, and that mid lane dude fucking, like, sucked bad okay so he sucked the doolies and i was like what the frick and to be honest i was really angry after the game i was like man you suck dick bro if only you were even average that game if only you were just mediocre you didn't even have to be amazing you just had to be middle in the middle um we would have won that game but you just suck like you let the team down so hard and then i checked his win rate like i went back to his profile on op.gg i checked his win rate and he had a 30 percent win rate with that champion and he had played the champion like at least 30 games and he had a 30% win rate on it. And I was thinking, holy fuck, why didn't I look at that before the game started and dodge? Why didn't I do that? He's our mid lane. He's one of the main carries. Why didn't I dodge as soon as I saw that he was a shit mid laner on that specific champion? And it made me think, okay, if I knew that piece of information before, what other pieces of information are there that I can obtain before the game actually starts um, that can determine whether I'm going to win or lose this game. The quote unquote, what I like to call impact points. That's how I came about this realization in League of Legends. And these are the impact points that you can use to determine whether you're going to, oh, you know, most likely determine whether you're going to win or lose the game uh, before it even starts. There are only two main categories, which are champions and players, okay, in the loading screen um, or in the champ select screen. So the first one is champions. With champions, okay, make sure that you, first off, don't have any stupid picks, okay? Make sure you don't have, like, the Hermiting ADC, the Sona Jungle, the fucking Nami mid. Make sure that you don't have any stupid picks. And if you do have any stupid picks, it's honestly better to dodge, okay? So next thing is to identify your team composition. Obviously, uh, in my opinion, it's good to have a balance of both AD, both AB, A, can I fucking speak English today? AP and AD damage, okay? And then also tankiness and, uh, dam and backline damage. So you have someone to soak the damage up at the front, then you have the, uh, the backline damage dealers at the back, okay? So a good balance. But you don't always have to have that. Analyze your team composition. So maybe you have a poke comp, maybe you've got Nidalee, Corky mid, Jace top. So make sure that you're playing to your team comp, okay? If you have a good team fighting comp, let's say you have Gragas, top, Jarvan, J, uh, J4 jungle, Oriana mid lane, Varus, you know, ADC, blah, 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 Lulu support. So you've got a good team fighting comp. And you analyze the um, the champions and their scaling ability, and they do really good in team fights. So obviously you want to um, force a team fight, um, you know, maybe in the mid to late game phase, because that is your win condition is team fights. On the other hand, if the enemies that you're versing is a split pushing comp, um, let's say they have a Fiora and then um, I don't know Syndra mid or some shit. They have a Fiora, so they want to play to the split split pushing um, strategy and then wave clear middle bot whatever. So your goal is to initiate a team fight as fast as possible so that Fiora isn't, you know, applying too much pressure at the top lane. And even if she does, you win the team fight, you push mid, you get the inhib, blah, blah, blah. So analyze both yours and the enemy's win conditions and play to your win conditions and avoid the enemy. So that's, the champions are really sim simple. To summarize the champion part, there is the champions. Okay, make sure you have a good balance. Make sure that you don't have any stupid picks and make sure that you play to your team comp's win conditions, avoid your loss conditions, and then play to the enemy's loss conditions and avoid their win conditions, okay? So that's the champion part. But the champion part, in my opinion, is nowhere near as important as the player part. The player part influence points or impact points are these ones. The, the first thing that I want to say about this part is the most important roles, in my opinion, that you need to have good players on is mid and ADC. These are the damage dealers, these are your carries. You need to make sure that these ones who are gonna fucking carry you know how to play the game, they know how to carry the game. This is what I do now, is that I uh, go on op.gg, I take everybody's um, win, oh sorry, I take everybody's names, chuck it in op.gg and I specifically look at mid and ADC and I make sure that they're good players. If, we, if I know that they're shit players, I'll dodge, 100%. If the mid and ADC, if any one of them are bad players, like below 50% win rate, then I will dodge. As for the other roles, like jungle, top, and support, ideally they're at least average, okay? But it's okay for them to be like a little bit bad because hopefully the mid and ADC are good enough to carry them. But it's obviously best, like the best result is to have everyone that's a good player. But if you look at them and maybe they swapped with the other person to give them their role or something, or if they're average or just a little bit below average, that is okay 
as long as you have the good mid and ADC players, okay? I hope that makes sense. The second off is that they're on their main roles, okay? So make sure that the people playing the game are on their main roles and make sure that they have good win rates. And then the last thing is that they're on their main champions, okay? Make sure that you go on to um, OP.GG, you scope these dudes out, and then you make sure that the people playing are the playing on their roles and they're on champions that have good win rates. When I looked back at that Cassiopeia dude, he played so many freaking games a season and he had a 30% win rate, win rate on Cass. I would have fucking dodged straight away, bro. I should have done that. Make sure that the champions are, the players are on their main roles, they're playing champions with good win rates. In my opinion, good win rates is 55% or above. Yeah, and then the most important ones are middle and ADC. So these are the difference influence points. And then the last one is it's fucking you. It's you. It's to make sure that you are on a role that you feel comfortable with playing. Make sure that you are playing champions that you feel comfortable with playing. And make sure that you are doing it. Whoops. Make sure that you are doing everything you can to win the game. Make sure you're not doing any of these stupid mistakes that I said before. Like you're playing like a like you're playing a champ. And this happens all the time with my clients, is that they're playing a champ and they have like 60 games on the champion and they have like a 45% win rate. Like obviously you should stop playing Graves and you should start playing a champion that you have a positive win rate on. And that's it, That's that, those are the impact points, okay? If you go to myop.gg, this strategy that I just said, the influence points, I started doing with um, my two main champs on mid lane, which is Orianna and Syndra. And I have above 60% win rate on both of those champs um, in Challenger Elo. And then if you look, when I did outside of the strategy, I have like below 50%, 55% win rate. And sometimes I played champs and fuck, it's, I'm so stupid, bro. Like honestly, some, I don't listen to my own advice and it's like so stupid. Like you see, I played champs in ranked, like I played Kassadin and my Kassadin win rate's like terrible and my Lucian win rate's terrible. And I started playing roles that I don't even main anymore. I started playing champions that I don't even play anymore. And I went away from this strategy and I just got bad results. So hopefully that helped you. Okay. You recognize these influence points, these impact points, and make sure the majority of them check up, especially the middle and ADC are on good champs, good roles, and good players. I'll write these down in the comment section below, or in the description, um, so you can have a look for yourself. Um, and yeah, if these don't match up, I dodge, okay? If these uh, influence points or whatever impact points don't match up, then I just dodge the game. With that being said, okay, it's not guaranteed that you're going to win the game, but you fucking 100% like the chance is so much more increased if you listen to these impact points and remember that you still have to there are still the in-game aspects that you have to worry about there's so much very um variables that um you know happen in the game you know like shitty teammates will blah but you can deduct that information especially the shitty teammates one from the op.gg account you can find out whether they're a good player or a bad player they might have a bad game blah blah, blah but for the most part you can find out all the information you need to know to win the game before it even starts. And that is the beauty of Habititi. <laughs> so that's all I had for you. I hope you learned something today. Follow me on Twitch and I'll suck you off. Have a good day. I love you. Stay beautiful. Shana Ducks.